Hi folks, Darren Ray Fonso here. I just wanted to take a moment and show you that I have another injured worker in our injured workers community that keeps going around and trying to silence my voice. Um, I had a, I was trying to comment on our broken workers comps uh, page today. I had a beautiful conversation going on here with some folks on this page. No cussing, no, um, no uh, profanity of any kind, just the facts. And as I'm doing that, I tried to put up a comment about um, needing some minimum federal oversight, and, and I put up the Bill of Rights. It was not even a bad comment at all. And this lady, Victoria Tolbert here, uh, 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 p marks it as uh, being harassment. And, uh, and only the comment was not harassing. It says, what we need is some minimum basic uh, injured workers' rights to be honored on a federal level for, for our states or failing us. And then I put up a... An, a, a uh, an attachment to the workers comp bill of rights so when I have another injured worker Victoria Tolbert an injured worker from the state of Washington who is basically bedded down with the Bernie Krads and only wants state fixes and have us chase court, court cases while not putting the minimum federal oversight on the table at this point this has nothing to do with me calling somebody a whore this has nothing to do with my rage and my anger. This has something to do with people who don't want me and my truth and the other injured workers' truth who are crying for the minimum federal oversight and calling out Senator Sanders and our other lawmakers on the fact that we need this federal oversight. And they told us we need it and none of them are putting our issue on the table with all their other issues. This is wrong when we have Washington State Bernie Kratz using Washington State injured workers and Bernie Krat work comp attorneys coming to my site and trying to close me out and trying to convince me that we don't need the minimum federal oversight that Senator Sanders and now, like I said, the United States Congressional Research Service is telling us we need. So I just wanted to take a moment to show this to the people in the work comp community that the reason, a lot of the reason is sometimes we are being closed out and, and, and cut out isn't because of the other people closing out and silencing our voices. We have other injured workers in our community intently trying to silence the other injured workers' voices and that is egregious because it's deceptive of those injured workers to do that. I don't care if you're a, you know, if you're a Trumpster, you're a Republican, who you are. You don't try and silence the other side from being heard. And especially when it's the people from my own side trying to silence me, that is egregious, truthfully, at this, I, I don't know how to, to accept that. It's, but anyways, I want to let people in the work comp community know that when I'm putting up uh, benign comments that are asking for minimum federal standards, I am getting closed out by other injured workers who don't, who seem to not really understand or be educated on, on, on the pol political issues, nor understand that we have been fighting for this since 1972. So whatever political uh, how, politi politicking you're doing over this, we don't need people politicking over injured workers. What we need is our minimum federal oversight on the t table, and not others trying to silence the other ones who are asking for that, or labeling them as unhinged and crazy when they are unhinged and crazy because other people are trying to silence their voice. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye. And, and just one more thing. Don't go, injured workers, you're not helping other injured workers when you go around and try and silence them and, and mark their comments as something you don't feel is appropriate. Especially when there's nothing inappropriate with the